Birmingham team. But first, Ronnie Moore, who's back at Tranmere again. And so far, so good. Tranmere, a top of League One. Rob Palmer reports. That area, mate. Yeah, just smack it in there. He's just happy to be back in the thick of things. You know what I'm saying? Don't punch about with it there. If, if you wouldn't punch about on the Saturday with it, you know what I mean? So. Ronnie Moore has masterminded Tranmere Rovers' relegation threatened last spring to top of the early season table. It's been good, to be fair. Uh, you can't enjoy being top of the league now, Rob. You never can, you know. I know it's only four games, and in football, you, you wish your life away, to be fair, because I wish it was May now. It'd be fantastic for us, but we're not getting Canada away. Make him push you. Now he's the grey herd sage. Once he was the pin-up boy. This is the man who knows the World Club inside out. He first walked through the door 41 years ago. Well, I was a butcher to start with, and then I joined the club in 1971. Um, that was my debut in 71. Centre midfielder, Aldershot. So I've been a player, uh, the coach, first team coach for nine years with Kingy, which was fantastic to be fair. Um, assistant manager, caretaker manager, and manager three times. So it's had a big chunk of my life, that's for sure. Moore was replaced in the summer of 2009 by John Barnes and Jason McAteer after just failing to reach the League One playoffs. Pipped by Scunthorpe, who were managed by another Tramia old boy, Nigel Adkins. Obviously, I was disappointed in the way things had ended because we were so, so close to, uh, to getting in the playoffs. We were in the 94th minute when, when Scunthorpe uh, equalised against us. And then Nigel's never looked back since then, you know, he's gone from strength to strength. As his old teammate Adkins headed up the league ladder, Ronnie Moore headed back to Rotherham and finally got to wear his manager's suit at Wembley. Yeah, I went to Wembley and, and got beat 3 2 in the playoff final, um, which on the day could have gone out either way. So I mean, it's just that little bit of luck. We didn't get the luck. Um, but I don't think fifth uh, in League Two uh, with nine games to go is, uh, is failure in my eyes. Two young kids took over. Who, you know, it doesn't make sense with, with nine games to go, but you can see I'm not bitter. <laughs> you were right in the back post, like sometimes the day might be all right. He's retained his sense of humour despite once being the right victim of a cruel hoax, door. almost handing in his resignation, believing that he topped Ipswich's list of candidates. Now he's back at Tramere, where he first filled the manager's role back in 1987. Budget hasn't changed for 20 years, so <laughs> so it's uh, it's not too bad. It's expectations, you know. If you look at the budget uh, compared with a lot of teams at our level. Probably second or third lowest, I would think, uh, in that. So to be in a position within this present time is fantastic and shows, you know, that we're doing something right. And people think footballers, you know, they're, they're kind of here in the Bentleys and the Mercs and the Rolls Royces and whatever. What, what, what kind of, I'm not going to ask you specifically what kind of money the lads are on here, but I mean, they do it because they want to be footballers here, don't they? They're not, they're not going to be rich playing for Tramley Rovers, well, are they? We, we have, I bet we've got four or five people who get as much as people do in Asda uh, working there. People might not believe it, but it's true. Uh, we have. And we've got the top range, when I say top range, you know, £1,000 players, uh, that's big bucks for us. It's a far cry from the glory days when Rovers seem to have a season pass for Wembley. We've had quality that out, you know, uh, Gary Stevens in the early days, you know, Everton England, Pat Nevins being here. You know, Aldridge was fantastic when he came in, you know, his goal scoring record for us has been, been superb. So, yeah, we've, we've had the association with Everton and Liverpool players coming through here. But now it's a new era, you know, uh, the, the different type players now. Uh, they look after themselves a lot, lot better than we did in them days. Um, not too many like to go for a pint. That, that used to happen, but you know they're, they're, they're athletes now. That, that, that's the big thing. And at the moment, his athletes are in gold medal position after a stunning start to the season. He's turned around the squad by begging senior pros to stay, and borrowing youngsters from bigger clubs. Wallace is, is only 20. He's been at Everton. Fantastic player. He's going to go back to Premiership. There's no doubt about that. And Jake Cassidy, lad, we've got him from Wolves. You know, we've never picked up. Both of them can't mark a cross on the wall. So we have to wear like mad to, to get it right. You know, if, if, he, if he wants to mark it that way, let him mark it that way. The following we've had has been fantastic since I've come back. I mean, away from home, we took 3,000 to Villa. Uh, we took 1,500 to, uh, to Shrewsbury. There'll be 2,000 again on a the crew. They're a football inside. You know, we're trying to play football. I mean, a lot of people uh, talk about, about my reputation of being hoof football and whatever. I don't know where it's come from, but we've always tried to play. Um, and that's what we're doing now. So I think it'll be a really entertaining game, um, both attacking-wise. And I don't think it'll be a nil-nil. So that's probably put the mockers on it, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> in the autumn of his career, Ronnie Moore clearly enjoying his place in the sun. Yeah, well-deserved as well. It's funny, Ian, you know how...
some characters, some managers just seem to fit certain clubs, yep. don't they? I mean, I'm thinking of Gary Johnson at Yeovil, for instance, and yep. it's certainly the case, isn't it, with Ronnie Moore at Tranmere? Very much so. You know, he's, he's gone there, done a great job, actually. I mean, in very difficult circumstances, when he took over last year, you know, I, it was almost an Armageddon scenario. He turned it around. You know, obviously, Les had had that spell of being physio and manager. He's gone there, he's, he's got an organisation to him. He's now sort of reinvented the side a little bit, brought in some good loans, kept a couple of the senior players who had dis. And, you know, he's always had a reputation of being very difficult to beat. I mean, don't forget, he did a wonderful job at Rotherham. We got two mm. promotions back to back. So he knows his way around football, for sure. And I think he's gone there with all his experience and just knows in that league what it needs to be up and around the shake up. They, they, you know, they clearly got some good attacking people and I think that's the, the key. He, he's, he's given a bit of pace to the side and I think that was lacking. Pace in any side is very important. A bit of organisation and that they look to be you know, well set for a very good year. Much, much better than last mm. year which is testimony to what the job that Ronnie's done. I'm sure Tramere fans will never tire of seeing the top of the table. Not as it is at the <laughs> moment so let's take a look. There they are at the moment uh, <coughs> heading Yeovil but you can see the big guns are uh, poised below the Sheffield Uniteds and the MK Dons and the Swindons and the such like. And, and Sean, you know, um, Ronnie made the point there with a smile on his face that the budget hadn't changed for 20 years and it was second or third lowest in the vi division. How can they possibly hope to be up there challenging w with the bigger boys at the end of the season? Well, I think, like anyone, if you haven't got a big budget, you work with the quality you've got. And, and usually, or certainly in my reflection at Watford, we didn't have a big budget. You've got to be strong, fit and organised, for sure. Um, your loan signings will be important. And, and development. If there are some young players in the side, you, you're hoping that you can encourage them and coach them and, and develop them to become big players for your side. And for them, Tonga, uh, hang on in there. I think it's going to have to be a mixture of them things. I think he will have to use the loan market over the season. He will have to get the odd young lad who just becomes that big player. And for sure, rely on the organisation and the feel-good factor of the group. You know, you get off to a good start, confident builds, and all of a sudden they're looking around thinking, why not? Why shouldn't it be trying to have a good season? So I think there's a, a combination of things that Ronnie will be hoping come together in order to keep them up there. But a, a great start, you know, for sure. Mm. I mean, when, when we saw the top of that 